Hey there, Coach Jim here from Play Try, coming at you with some suggestions to have in your swim bag when you go to the pool or to open water for swimming. The first one that you obviously need for your swim bag is a swim bag. And I tend to just go with a very basic mesh bag uh, that fits a lot of stuff and you can just throw everything in there uh, and gives it some nice uh, breathability uh, for that, that uh, reality that you might not be able to hang everything up after you swim. You obviously need a swimsuit. I usually tell people to have two swimsuits in their bag. One is a regular one and one is a backup just in case you forget your regular swimsuit uh, for your swim workout. After that you need some goggles and I tell people to have two pairs of goggles in their swim bag uh, at all times. One is a backup because uh, it happens but uh, you can have a strap break, and then if you don't have a backup, there goes your swim workout. For race day, I encourage my athletes to have uh, three pairs of goggles in their bag based on different, uh, different lighting conditions that they'll face during open water swims. After that, you, it's a good idea to have a swim cap, and I tend to go with a silicon swim cap. Uh, it, it helps reduce drag, but it also is really easy to get on and off. It lasts long and it doesn't pull on your hair. After that, the next thing that I encourage my athletes to have is a swim snorkel. A swim snorkel is an excellent tool uh, to help you focus on different aspects of your swim uh, by eliminating the need to turn your head to breathe. And it allows you to really focus in on your body position, on your kick, on your, your stroke, uh, all these different things that you you need to work on to master uh, and improve your swim. Lots of swim workouts have some kind of pull section, uh, uh, pull intervals for you to do. And so I tend to encourage people to have a pull buoy uh, and an ankle straps. A uh, pull buoy uh, just floats your hips up uh, so that you're not dragging your legs along the bottom of the pool while you're swimming. And that ankle strap just goes around your ankles uh, so that you are not doing those little micro kicks that we often do when we just have that pull buoy. When you're doing uh, pull sets, you can also have uh, some paddles. And there's a lot of different paddles out there, but I tend to go with uh, the agility paddles from Finnis because uh, they really help you teach a proper entry into the water and help you to uh, have uh, fingers down uh, arm position for the entire stroke and if you're not doing that properly they these paddles definitely tell you uh, tell you when you're running into those issues another good tool to have in your your swim bag is uh, an, a, it's an alignment kickboard and that is a good tool for uh, for kick sets but also for uh, single arm drills uh, and it's uh, its shape allows it to sit a little bit lower in the water and it puts a little bit less stress on your shoulders uh, than a normal kickboard. And then it's uh, a good idea to, to invest in uh, some, some fins to help you uh, with your kick sets. I tend to go with the shorter sort of zoomer uh, fins because those help you really focus on uh, short, uh, quick, uh, compact, strong kicks instead of the longer fins that tend to make your legs go a little bit more lazy. And then last but not least, it's just sort of personal preference, but I always have a water bottle with me for my workouts uh, to help me hydrate in between sets. Uh, and then the last one is uh, uh, some flip-flops for, uh, for the pool deck and for the shower room afterwards. Uh, again, uh, my name is Jim Rowe, and I'm one of the coaches here at Play Try. I hope you uh, come to Play Try and get all your swim needs here. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to reach out to me at jim.row at playtry.com. I hope your training and racing is going really well this year. Take care.